Hey, Mortar Knife Nerds and Everyday Care People, it's your boy the Big Conductor here and got myself a little bit of a video to do today. It's not kind of a, a normal review video or first impressions. I ended up uh, picking this uh, very, very Kinnick knife up on uh, the internet or actually on Kijiji and I ended up getting it pre-owned and it is a Boker uh, Jasper Vox, oh I can't remember, it's, it's a Vox 3.5 Boker Plus. Um, and it's a hell of a knife. I mean, I've only had it for a couple of days. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a really, really stout folder. It came with a micar micarta scale on it. And the micarta scale was kind of a dark green color. And you know me, I, I'm not really a big dark green fan. So of course I had to make it red. And so I dyed it there. But I have noticed that the action on here is not that, you know, super smooth. Um, it also, when I uh, first got it, it was not centered. It was to the, it was pulling to the micarta scale, but it was very, very smooth it was opened up really well but now as soon as i tightened it up a little bit it then all of a sudden centered but then the, the action was terrible on it so what i'm going to try to do here is i'm going to try to maybe crack it open have a look at it don't know how old this knife is and uh don't know if it's um you know crazy dirty in there but i'm going to probably try to polish the washers in there we'll see what's going on on the inside maybe i can polish those surfaces up a little bit uh, center it and see if I can get the action just quite a bit nicer and I, I probably will be sharpening this a little bit more I mean it, it's it came neat sharp uh, so I ended up taking some of my um, uh, Spiderco bench stones especially the one with I got the little diamond spray on the, the ultra fine and I gave it a couple of swipes and boy she got wickedly shot like hair popping hair whittling sharp in about 10 strokes and a little bit of stropping so Let's uh, let's go down to the tabletop and we'll open this up. And this 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 may jump around a little bit here. I'm just trying to take care of this in the morning. I've got a brand new puppy who's a um, boxer Tennessee treehound cross, so he demands a lot of my attention here. So if I need to shut down and kind of go take care of the puppy, I'll do that. But uh, until the meantime, let's see if we can get this all fixed up. So let's go down to the tabletop. Okay, so as you can see here, the uh, the die did uh, take, you know, it's not too, too bad. I mean, it's a couple of spots. It's a little bit splotchy, but it's still way better than what it was. And you can see that this is a really kind of uh, acid or stone washed uh, finish um, on some S35VN. We've got a titanium scale here with a, uh, it looks like a uh, steel insert. And, but I did notice a little bit of lock stick on this thing. So that's just a little bit weird, but you can hear how she's kind of dry on here so let's uh let's open it up and i do believe we have got a t8 let's see how that works so I, I i do know that you know you'll see here and so that goes there and i probably got a t6 here i would guess t6 on the rest of the hardware and i'm not going to um open this up so, so much that I need to take off my brand new lanyard that I just put on here. I always got to tie these lanyards on and I absolutely love it. And so it looks like they've got some really, really long screws here that go right through the micarta into the, um, so you got this really long screws that'll probably go all the way into the um, titanium scale. And boy, oh boy, she's a real big, thick titanium uh, blade on here, blade stock. Five mil um, is what I guess it's rated there. And oh, there's one. There's no, come on. Hey, I really, really, while well, I was seeing here, I really, really like. Now, I don't know if this is from the factory or not, but first of all, I really, really like these gold, little gold accents. I think it's spectacular. Would have loved to see the rest of the hardware gold like that. But if you have a look here, these are fairly parallel and that just looks excellent to me. Um, so this is, I do believe this is a Chinese made knife. Um, Boker is a uh, German company, but they've also had some American manufacturing, I just found out. And I know that, I think the inexpensive Boker um, F3 uh, with like the VG10 and stuff like that. I know that th that one is made in China, but I don't know if this one here with the uh, v with the S35 VN is or not. So it looks like I am not going to be able to do any sort of um, 
smoothing out on these because this is a Teflon washers. Wow. But perhaps I can maybe do some smoothing out on this uh, here itself on the blade and uh, perhaps just give it a really really good clean out big surprise now i'm not necessarily a hundred percent um you know against having these uh, teflon washers because teflon i don't know why that kind of did that there why it's even it's wet there why it's discolored like that but i'm not a hundred percent um, against having Teflon washers because you got some really really high-end knives you know you got uh, uh, Rick Hinder has got some Teflon you've got uh, who else has got Teflon in their things uh, Demko Andrew Demko has got some Teflon in his so you can see that there's a, a couple of really big makers out there that uh, enjoy that Teflon but I'm just a little bit surprised I did not realize that that would have Teflon washers in there and so let's just see if there's any way that we can perhaps smooth this out just a smidge okay so what i'm going to probably do is i'm going to have some grab a little bit of sandpaper uh, from way up in the tickle trunk so what i have is some whole thousand wet dry hair and 2500 wet dry hair and just a, maybe a little peel a little bit off here now this here I don't know this is made by my company it's called Superflex sandpaper uh, by worth and believe me it is incredible sandpaper um, last really really long um, the because it's wet dry it, and it you put water on it it does not break down so I'm not too worried about that with the water it's just an excellent excellent sandpaper and let's uh, let's give this a little bit of a wet and let's give it a just see if we can smooth out these edges a little bit and then perhaps give it a little bit of a polish now we don't want to go too too crazy here's the detent path we want to make sure that it's at least a little bit hidden right because you know that scale because it is designed to be a kind of a certain way right or a certain look with this uh, stone washed but I'm surprised that they stone washed this area here and you can see that it's starting to lighten up a little bit already hey man lighten up and just a quick look and there is like a steel insert in there but it looks like it's steel along with titanium so <laughs> There is a smidge of lock stick. And so let's go to the other side now. Let's give her a little bit of a little bit of moisture on there. A little bit of fresh stuff here. And of course, you know what? For safety's sake, I could have uh, just put some tape on the blade here, but I'm not that smart. And this is just a lot of this you know this knife was off to the right off to the micarta side just a smidge wasn't like rubbing terribly the action was yeah i mean that you know it opened and closed uh, i could flick it open with just a little bit it just didn't seem it just didn't seem like it should and that is i think if you're a knife guy you know exactly what i mean it just didn't you know I'm going to say probably 90% of the uh, public out there would thought, well, hey, there's nothing wrong with that knife. But, hey, when you're a true knife guy and you're an OCD idiot, then <laughs> you got to know. So now we're going to give it a little bit of more polish here with this. 2,500 grit. And I'm going to see if there's any way I can perhaps, and you don't want to go, you know, it's, it's nice to do it with the hand here. <laughs> rather than a machine because you don't want to be taking off too much metal and changing the tolerances unless you know exactly what you're doing now 
this there's there's no way that this like this may just be stuck on the right side of the the detent like it may be stuck just you know bias right or bias to the uh, micarta like that just may be the way that this knife is built and the only way to perhaps change that is by messing with the tolerances here but hey i am not skilled enough off the top of my head here just to do it uh, you know with a little bit of a grinding wheel and stuff like that uh, hey i think it would need actually a, a machinist and perhaps you know some some really really in-depth measurements to kind of fix that that way and i just don't happen to have the the time or the knowledge right this second and there we go so let's the other thing we're going to do perhaps is see if we can maybe put this into a little bit of a ball and get inside that pivot just a smidge and see if we can maybe smooth it out inside that pivot just a smidge and here we go we'll see if that'll work So how's everybody's day going? I know that here in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada, if you're not familiar with this country, a couple of little interesting facts. If we had an average of two inches less rainfall per year, we would be considered a desert. There's a huge amount of irrigation that goes around in this town. We have rattlesnakes here. So when you're going golfing, you got to watch out for your rattlesnakes. And, uh, your small pets and stuff the other thing is the uh, white tail dealer are everywhere in this town I mean there are when I get up in the morning if I open up my door sometimes early in the morning I'll see the white tail deer eating on, on my grass or my flowers and uh, drives my wife just absolutely crazy uh, you know what let's just tell the 100% truth here drives me crazy I'm the one with the flowers <laughs> I'm the one who always plants the flowers every year. My wife, uh, she, you know, she likes them and stuff like too. But I mean, I just, I just like them. Now, what is the other thing that uh, Lethbridge is known for? It is known for its huge amounts of wind. We have got crazy amounts of wind here in Lethbridge, uh, which attributes to perhaps being one of the um, places in Canada with the highest rates of suicide, funnily enough, and they attribute that to the wind. I guess it can drive people mad. Uh, now, I know that there are some Indigenous communities up there that are really bad with the suicide, and I, uh, and I feel for those folks, but... All right. Now, um, oh, that's probably a very bad idea, swinging that super sharp blade around. Let's just, let's just do that. All right. <clears throat> and we'll just give that, see if we can we'll try anything that we can do to perhaps smooth these mating surfaces just a little bit. It's just like butter there, folks, just like butter. All right, is there anything on the inside? Is that my card? It's just so weird. And I like the red. The red is so nice. Uh, what a, just, I mean, oh, that's my wife texting. That's mama texting. And she wants to have a little bit of stuff done to the house. What I am gonna supposed to be doing here shortly. Which hey, if you guys if you guys don't have a, a honey to do list, then you're missing out. Okay, what am I looking for here? Oh, I got my little bit of spray and drop in my lube. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean up these surfaces now just a little bit. And we'll put everything back together. So this here is just a, a Windex bottle with uh, it had some multi-surface disinfectant and uh, it was mostly gone. So I just poured uh, alcohol in there. And so that kind of is what I'm using to clean this up. There we go. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Give us a little bit more of a scooch on here. Mm. 
All right. I'll have to come up with some more Lethbridge trivia if you guys are game. And you guys are not sure if you're seeing me, but I'm always looking over top of my uh, glasses because I have got nearsightedness and I can't really tell which way this is going to be. Maybe I can feel it. Ah, oh, there's, there's, the, there's the smooth side that way. All right. So I'll drop one in there. And I'll put a little bit of blue lube on here. Some Benchmade blue lube and nano oil mixed together. That's my secret sauce. And then now we will put a little bit in there in the detent path. Drop a little bit inside there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that didn't sound good. That didn't sound good at all. Okay, so let's close that up there. And let's drop this. Let's see if we feel the same way. What's, what's the smooth side? There's the smooth side right there. Smooth side that way. All right. So a little bit more there. Excellent. Excellent. Drop that down there. And we will see if we manage to do anything positive. Besides just shoot the shit here about Lethbridge. At least you got to look inside. Oh, what the hell? Looks like we forgot something here. Looks like my little drop pin. The stop pin fell out. Okay, so let's close that up here. Hmm. So we'll put this in here. I like to Loctite these later once I get kind of everything together. Sometimes I'll take them out, Loctite it again. Just kind of want it so it's not moving around. <clears throat> now we've got these really, really long screws out there. All right, so. But you have got to go all the way through the end to the other side. There we go. Oh, there we not go. <laughs> there we go. I hope. There we go. This is uh, Weera. Yeah, these are a really, really good tool. Although I like the, f the little fat short ones. They seem to give you a little more grip than these long skinny ones here. Especially if you've got some really crazy Loctite. There we go. <laughs> fitting all the way in there that one is no I was just watching a little bit of a mini documentary the other day and about a guy named oh darn it he played Latka on taxi and uh, he had a documentary movie called uh, man on the moon that was Jim Carrey played him Andy is his first name. 
But uh, what an incredible joker this guy was. Oh my goodness. Some of the, the practical jokes and the performance art this guy did. I mean, what an amazing man. All right, so let's just see here. So she's still a little bit right by us, but yeah, you can see that she's got a little bit of blade movement, wobble side to side. Drives me insane, that kind of thing. Drives me insane. So we gotta tighten this up a little bit. All right. Now she drops shots because it's such a big, thick blade. Oh, she's so close to being centered. Oh, I think that has done a really, really nice little job here. Let's just see. Oh, look at that. She is drop shutty without the uh, lock, without the lock engaged. Just falls like that. No side to side. She is, I mean, just a C hair, still biased here. I probably could maybe even take these. You know, I could probably unscrew these here and even screw that a little bit. And then just what you can do is you can press on this side here in that corner there. And we'll see if that has, we'll see if we can do that. Perhaps we'll undo that just a little bit here. Because sometimes that happens that eh? you can, and this is where you might need two people. I don't know if I could grip this tightly enough to kind of make it work. But you can see here if I, let's just see if I press. There, you see how, see how I press here and I press on this side? You'll see this blade travel over a little bit. There, you see that? How that travels over? Let's see if I can get in there and travel over. So now the, the trick is to have this pressed over, but tighten these three screws up at the same time. Now, let's just see. I don't think I've got, because it's a little bit awkward here with this, with this uh, little bit of a uh, backspacer here. You know, I, you know, I'm still trying to grab that without grabbing the backspacer. And we'll see if I can have the hand strength to kind of, there, see, there we go. It's still over. And you just need to tighten those things down. I don't think, there. We better, way, way better centered. That little bit, it is way, way better centered. I've got some uh, drop shut attitude and um, no side to side uh, wiggle. All right, so that is my story and I'm sticking to it. Hope you enjoyed this tiny bit of knife maintenance. I learned something today that uh, the Boker Plus has got himself some good old uh, Teflon washers. And I just don't think that I would let that kind of bother me uh, yet. I mean, we'll see how this thing performs over some time and um, we'll see if there's any sort of issues. All right, thanks so much for stopping by you guys. I appreciate it so much. Please, please stay safe out there. Keep your stick on the ice. The shiny side up. This is the Big Canucker saying adios.